tiny, tiny room. I'm not gonna lie, boys. Oh, crap. Not gonna lie, guys. I spent, like, the last four hours just trying to set up this video because I'm having a battle with the, with the lighting right now because I rearranged my whole room. Everything's different now. Uh, but, yeah. I had to make a video for you guys about muscle-ups. The reason you guys suck at it because we all want to be good at it, right? I sucked at it for quite a bit. So, yeah. Uh, let's talk about it. Now, the first reason of why you guys suck at the muscle up will come down to the actual bar that you're using. So, whether you train at the park or you train at the gym, visualize that bar. That may be the reason why you are good or you're bad at it. Now, I did a little experiment on this. I went to a multitude of gyms, ones that are relatively high class, ones that are personal, and ones that are quite run down. And then, of course, the variety of parks that I go to. And I found that each pull up bar that I went to, whether it be at a gym, good gym, or a bad gym, or a good park, or a bad park, is the fact that each muscle up that I attempted on those pull up bars my strength felt different now of course we had to factor in like how good i felt on the day how much i was eating prior to the actual muscle up attempt but at the end of the day i found out that the reason i was actually struggling or feeling good on the muscle up attempts was based on the actual bar that i was using now this will actually come down to the base of support for the pull-up bars in itself whether it be at the gym or the park and also the material of the pull-up bar whether it's rusty or it's painted like the ones at my park and i found this extremely weird because the parks that we usually train at harvey brown the pull-up bars there i don't know why but when i jump on that bar it's so hard to transition but when i jump at a pull-up bar at a gym or a different park so much easier and then of course we also got to factor in how thick and thin the bar is but yeah maybe just try out a different pull-up bar go to a different park or go to a different bar at the gym and try it out you might feel a difference so the second reason you guys suck at the muscle up is simply because your transition is terrible how many of you still struggle on the transition of the muscle up now this will actually come down to your pull-up strength how high you're actually able to pull down how far are you able to pull the bar down to your waist can you reach the bottom of your chest can you get lower than that can you reach your pelvis this is all important and it also comes down to being able to turn your wrists and lean over the bar while performing your muscle up as well that's another thing as well when people attempt muscle ups they forget that you have to ptl and this is an acronym that i created a long time ago when i was first training for the muscle up and ptl pretty much means you pull you turn and then you lean over the bar and if you're still not doing this in the whole flow of a muscle up you're you're not ever going to be good at the transition you guys got to remember as you pull up you turn your wrists and you lean over the bar it's all synergistic so how do we get better at the transition don't forget about your technique training right negative muscle ups jump muscle ups just focusing on the movement pattern of an actual muscle up that's one thing because a lot of people focus too much on strength it's just pull up high pull up high that's real fun don't get me wrong but if your technique is flawed and you're not experienced enough in how to actually perform a muscle up correctly, you're never gonna be good at the transition. So get that down first. Number three is big SMH because it's my personal favorite excuse. Actually, it's everyone else's excuse about why they suck at a muscle up or why they're weaker than you who is good at the muscle up. And this is weight. How many, <laughs> how many people do you actually know that look at you do muscle ups and they're like, bro, how much, how much do you weigh? That's the first thing they go to. They don't account for all the hard work and sacrifice that you went through in order to get good at the muscle up. I remember my whole journey as well. Now, I'm a very light person as well. I don't weigh too much. I'm below 70 kg. But the amount of sacrifice and pain that I experienced through my muscle up training was very tormenting. I would rock up to the park on, on a lot of days, try and strict muscle up, try and strict muscle up. That was the goal because I could only keep at the time and I lost it. So I went on this journey of trying to get a strict muscle up and hurt every time. Whenever I would try to transition over the bar, I try to pull up as hard as I can and it would hurt. Like I'd be able to manage to do it, but it hurt every single rep. It was a grind. But now, of course, now when I do muscle ups, it's extremely easy. I have the pull up strength to pull down all the way to my pelvis, so it's it's fine. But that's one thing though, because people never account for the actual hard work that you had to go through to get to where you are. So with this one, wait, don't let it be an excuse. Like, yes, you can put a label on yourself. I'm a heavyweight calisthenic guy, I'm a lightweight calisthenic guy, whatever. It doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, if you want something, you have to strive for it. You can't let something like a label wait right deter you from actually achieving your goal i've had people in my personal group that would say bro you can do that because you're lighter than me bro but i'm thinking to myself bro i've been doing muscle up training for the past three to four years now you can't take that away from me you know like i'm not good at this just because i'm light there are a lot of heavy calisthenic athletes that can muscle up better than me they're heavier than me 
right? I got a long way to go as well. So don't let your weight deter you. It's a factor, it's a reason of why you may suck at it, but don't let it deter you, man. It should only motivate you. Now, the fourth reason of why you guys suck at the master level will come down to just your overall strength. You're not strong enough. And that's okay, but you really have to ask yourself, am I doing enough to get where I want to get? Are you guys doing two pull workouts a week? Are you focusing on technique? How many times out of the week are you showing up to the park or the gym to actually devote an amount of time to work on a goal? For me personally, how I got to a strict muscle up within the span of three to six months was the fact that I was showing up to the park to get the muscle up nearly every day. Right? I wasn't bludging, I wasn't skipping class, I was showing up, I was putting in the work. So in order to get strong, you gotta show up. You gotta do the high pull-ups, you gotta do the negative muscle-ups, you gotta do the, the technique training, you gotta work out on the days that you don't feel like. If you truly want the muscle-up, you gotta work for it. The bottom line is, if you guys don't have the fundamental strength to pull down to at least your bottom chest, you're not gonna make the transition as easy as it should be. So you gotta remember, technique training frequency at least two pull workouts a week weighted calisthenics as well do all what you can in order to get where you want to get so start a plan right now how am i going to get strong enough for the muscle up focus on your transition your skills focus on your strength how far can you pull down it's simple and the last one will come down to commitment you're not actually putting enough commitment and dedication to this goal reminiscing on my own journey i was also in this cycle or phase of being bad, being good, being bad, and being good at the muscle-up. The first time that I ever achieved the muscle-up was when I was 13 or 14 years old, and I was getting good at it. I eventually learned the kip, I was doing a lot of pull training, doing a lot of pull-ups throughout the week, but over time I got satisfied. I was, okay, I got the muscle-up, now what? I wasn't even that great at it, but I was like, okay, tick it off the box, that's it, and then you don't put any more time into it. That's a very bad mindset, because the next few times that I actually wanted to do a muscle-up, it was very difficult. I went from being able to strict muscle up to going back to not being able to strict an early kip to chicken wing. Imagine going from strict to chicken wing. It's terrible, right? So no matter how good you get, remember, keep going, get better at it, perfect it. Now with me personally, I'm not devoting too much to specific muscle up training, right? I don't want to become a master at it, so to speak. But it's gotten to that point where I'm like, okay, muscle ups are good. I'm still focusing on high pull ups, not really technique, but just overall pull up strength, how high I can pull up and also how much weight I can pull up as well. So you guys may suck at the muscle up because you're not putting in enough time. Now there are other gimmicky reasons of why you guys suck at the muscle up, but it'll all come down to your training. There's no secret formula. There's no secret technique to being good at it. You just gotta do it. That's it, right? <laughs> That's all you gotta do, you gotta do it. But so many people are still researching. They're still planning like, okay, what do I need to do? just get out there and start doing it. So yeah, that was five reasons of why you guys may suck at the muscle up. If there is anything that you take from this video is just to keep going, keep doing pull-ups, keep doing your technique training, try to pull down as far as you can. And remember, turn your wrist when you're trying to muscle up. A lot of people still forget this and lean over, lean over, press. That's it, presto. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you found value in it. And yeah, subscribe to the channel if you're new, like the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, peace out.